just have her on the record. Uh, so we can ask her to ask for a continuing letter. release of lien under protest. I just don't know that, that that's going to do the trick. And, and, and well, what, what do you say? I mean, he doesn't have to be enthusiastic. He does decide. And he, can, and he can think this is a very bad idea, but I think that for purposes of clearing up uh, the records down at uh, the records office down there, I just don't know that that's acceptable. And Judge, if you recall... What, 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 what in particular did he do that... Uh, my only, and I've got the copies right here, and he came in, and he's polite, and he's friendly, and everybody likes him in our office, but uh -huh. if he, instead of just signing Eddie Alexander Banks, he says, under protest. I, and I didn't want to take the liberty and be high-handed and scratch that up, because I don't want to alter a document, but I would just ask that he just sign it again, not under protest. Judge, if you recall, and I'm sure you recall this vividly, part of the, the plea agreement was that he come in and sign whatever documents the state attorney's office asked him to sign. Obviously, we're not going to ask him to sign unreasonable documents. These are a release of lien, and, 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 and I just would ask that, that, that he sign it not under protest. I mean, he can feel bad about it. He can think it's not a good thing, but I don't... Well, I, this is the thing, Mr. Banks, and, and certainly, uh, Ron, the record, uh, you know, whatever appellate rights you have, I mean, you can make whatever objections you have on the record. This, you know, signing uh, outright release is what you agree to as part of the plea that you enter the state. Uh, if you, whatever, whatever rights you have or whatever objections, uh, you know, you, you certainly uh, have appellate rights if you feel that uh, uh, what the state's asking is unreasonable. But, a part of your plea was to just sign over a unconditional release. And uh, whatever objection you have to that, you know, I'm going to give you the opportunity now to state your objections on the record. If you feel that appellate remedies are appropriate, uh, you certainly can uh, file whatever uh, 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 documents with the appellate court seeking whatever relief you feel that you're entitled to. But I, uh, I do uh, believe that you can't uh, put, uh, you know, if the problem is by putting that language on the release, there may be a question or a cloud over the release, and 
that's not what the state bargained for in reaching the agreement. It needs to be a release. And again, I'm not preventing you from whatever civil or appellate remedies there are. You just need to fill out those releases without any limiting language. All right, my objections lie at the Seventh Amendment of the Constitution, the Ninth Amendment of the Constitution, the Tenth Amendment of the Constitution, and the Eleventh Amendment of the Constitution. Your objections are noted for the record. Can I finish? Sure. Okay. The thing is, is that agreement was determined and it arose from a compelling desire for my freedom. If I was not threatened with jail, I wouldn't have signed it. I attempted to reserve my rights on that document, and then I was immediately threatened with jail again if I did the same thing of putting without prejudice. So everything that I have done has been under a compelling condition of the court. Even now, my language is under restraint and duress because I had a sheriff threaten to arrest me if I didn't follow protocol of the court. And I can stand as a testament. I followed the protocol of the court even though I disagreed solely and very highly to the transaction that took place in this courtroom. So, again, for the record, I will sign it. I'm stating it. It is under extreme duress, and I do not wish to further erode my rights or affect the rights that have been duped and stolen from me, but I will do it under this condition of threat of being put in jail. Well, to be precise, the threat is that your probation, an affidavit violating your probation would be filed, and that's the threat, and you certainly would be entitled to a hearing. Just like when you accept the probation, you were entitled to a trial, which you decided not to take your chances at trial, and then that's a decision that a lot of defendants make. Whenever a judge tells me I can't use a law dictionary because it's not law, I know that those odds are stacked against me. That is the law. It's statutory definitions are what count, not what's in a law dictionary. Okay, so, again, you're just saying that common law has no place in this arena. That's correct. That's what the Florida Constitution and Florida statutes provide, is that statutory law preempts common law. So are you familiar with that? As a matter of fact, I actually had a case came up where I ruled that based upon common law, and I was reversed because they said that the statutes don't provide for that, and I was wrong. Are you familiar with the Supremacy Clause? Yeah, I am somewhat familiar with that. And it's that clause that basically says that usurps common law, because common law can be amended by the Constitution, it can be amended by statutory law, and that's exactly what Florida has done. In any event, Your Honor, I'm sorry, I don't have any more questions. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
until the next day when I told uh, when I uh, instructed them to stay home so I could do a home visit. And you have that information now. I have all the uh, circumstances right All right, there. so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to violate them on that. He's ultimately okay. um, And the other thing is that he didn't remain at home. He refused to allow me to come by his house to see him because he said that he was forced to take probation. He did not agree to take probation. Therefore, he's not going to do what he's asked as far as me coming to his house that violates the constitutional rights and that he does still have those rights. And I let him know that probation, that is one condition that he agreed to, but he continues to tell me that he was forced by the court to take probation because he refused to go to prison and meet his family for 50 years. He said that, the, uh, that you had told him, Your Honor, that he will go to prison for 50 years if he doesn't take probation. Well, that's actually not what I told him. Right? And that's told not you. what I told her. Well, uh, all I told you was what the maximum penalties were, and I told you that if you didn't have to take the probation, you could have continued on with your trial. In any event, uh, Mr. Banks, <coughs> the, um, and I know you're not real fond of Florida law and Florida statutes, but under Florida law, probation is uh, considered a privilege, not a right. And uh, one of the consequences of being placed on probation is you are giving up certain of your constitutional rights, including the right to, to not have probation do administrative searches of your, your home. So they're allowed okay. to go on your premises. They're allowed to, to look inside your home. And, uh, you I'm not the sole uh, owner of, of that dwelling. So It doesn't matter. That's, if you're living there, you need to be sent to them coming in. So, uh, so I'm I'm requesting an amendment to the probation because the charges are in a, of an administrative nature. Now I've been highly um, I've been working and cooperating under the circumstances and conditions. Now I'm asking to be reasonable in this matter. I have nothing in my my. Uh, uh, jacket or case that indicates that I've um, been associated with any violent drug activity or anything like that. So I'm, I'm asking for that matter to be respected. I do respect that, Mr. Banks. And I'm asking but, but, but for... We're, we're, all, we're all required to follow the law. And Florida yeah. statutes uh, spell out you, the scope of probation. Probation has rules and regulations. And that is one of the rules and regulations is they're, they're entitled to do that. You are not specially picked upon in them making that request to you. That is a request that they make of everyone that's on probation, no matter what the charge is. And uh, uh, you may view it as you, you being persecuted, but that is a, a condition of pro a standard condition of probation. It is not a special condition. I'm asking for an amendment and, to the program. Uh, I, I'm, I'm denying that request. I mean, there's a request by probation. Is a reasonable one because you are on felony probation? By, by force. Well, you were not forced. You, were, you might not have liked your options, but it was a decision by you to accept the probation rather than risk Losing a trial and perhaps getting more more severe consequences. So um, you know, you may feel in your own mind that you had no choice, but you did have a choice, and you chose what you viewed as the lesser of uh, two evils. Uh, you decided to take the sure thing, probation, which would assure you of staying out of jail, versus going to trial and perhaps getting a much more severe sanction. Because the state, as part of the plea bargain that you reached with the state, reduced the charge. And it, was, it is that reduction in charge that allowed you to get probation. Had you not, had the state not reduced that charge, you would have been looking at a prison sentence under the Florida Punishment Code at, at a minimum. Okay, the thing is, is I resided and still reside in the common law jurisdiction. I was poured out to the public. To the statutory jurisdiction. Well, when you accepted the probation, these are conditions that you accepted. And 
uh, and I accept it only because of the threat of jail. Well, the, the record speaks for itself, sir, and um, you know you made at the time what you felt was a, a decision in your own best interest, and uh, you need to live up to the consequences of that decision. All right. So can I just make this request? Um, just again, just to, because sure. I usually do this, to provide your um, your oath of office and your public hazard bond, because I'm uh, I'm locked out of the. Um, you can make a, a public records request uh, to Tallahassee if you want that. Uh, that is not something that uh, we may maintain here on the premises. So that request is denied. So uh, you know you need to. Fill out that form, uh, and uh, you need to comply with the conditions of this probation. Okay. Uh, why don't you go do that outside? And, uh, uh, this hearing is uh, concluded. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, you know, Mr. Banks, I'm not uh, sincerely. I'm not picking on you. You've been a gentleman, and uh, but on the other hand, I'm treating you like any other defendant. You know, because uh, those those are the rules by law. Okay, you, you, you say law, but, and you say... Well, I know you don't recognize the law as, as, it, as it's been interpreted by the Florida courts, but I am bound by it. Okay, well, I'm saying, in quoting the law, you said you're familiar with the Supremacy Clause. Right. The Supremacy Clause dictates that all treaties become law, and the judges are bound to that. So, I've had that. No, actually, what the Supremacy Law says is that there's a conflict between Federal law and state law, federal law uh, wins out, but um, where there is no conflict, state law governs, and uh, I'm not seeing any conflict in, 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 uh, in, the, in requiring you to uh, comply with the rules and regulations regarding probation. Now, in stating that, I would love for you to produce an affidavit in support of well, uh, I, I appreciate that that's, that's what you would like, but there is no requirement to do that, and I'm trying to do that. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
If I were to do, if I were to, what is she stopping you from doing? Just practicality. Well, let me tell you something. You want me to get a job making Federal Reserve notes, yes. which is debt money. Right. I don't want to work for that. Okay. But I'm compelled. No, you're not. You don't have to. We can't make That's, you work. How can we make you work? That's what the probation officer no, just. No, no, she's just checking on you. She's not going to make you work. Well, it's you not that easy to get a job. Not working. You don't work. I work for barter. I don't work for money. Oh, that's all right. You can do that. Who do you work for for barter? Just uh, prove it up. Uh, oh, okay. Just prove it up. That's all you have to do. There's no problem. Come on. You're making this too difficult on yourself. No, no, no. I'm defending my rights with what I'm doing. I think we can, Eddie. I know you don't believe it, but you'll never be people more reasonable than you are. <laughs> I'm asking you. Aren't I reasonable? I'm, I'm yeah. asking yeah. you to make concession. Well, under, see, I'm not the one that does the probation thing. No, I have no power no, to do it. You, you do. No, I don't. Because yeah, you I can don't. say. No, you I can, can't. I cannot. You can All you've got to do is go along with it for a little while. Go along with it for a little we'll while. Re and then we'll, we'll reevaluate. You just be a good person. I mean, it's you're not going to be that hard for you. You're not going to have a you're problem. Gonna, you're making a problem. You are not a guy that gets into trouble. That is the issue. I don't get in trouble. So why? Why would just, I be in a situation of having a person subjecting myself to them poking and prodding around my home? I have a in, wife that don't don't want anyone. Because you have a little, because you got in a little bit of a jam with this, and now you gotta you gotta clean it up. That's you know what? I was writing everything I did in those documents, everything. Yeah, but I just figured, let's just get it, get All right. it done. Becoming a regular. You're like a frequent <laughs> flyer. Not, Come on, man. This is not going to be a big deal for you if you don't let it uh, make it a big deal. Because you, you want me to be a doorman. I'm not a doorman. Oh, you know, that is so mean. Come on now. You're, now you're, you're making me feel bad. Now. You should feel bad. No. I feel I felt bad, and that's why we had to flee so you didn't go to prison. That's my advice. I've never been there. Let's try this again. This time with feeling. Come on in. Feeling? Oh, that's very funny. Yeah, it is okay. funny. Is yeah. Hey, Kathy, you got it on the. Can, you can we change the, the November to December? Yeah, that's ready to take her out. Oh, maybe not. Can you just type over it then or something? I just think that. Just to change the November to December. So, what's go other than that, what's going on? Tell me, are you a football fan? Did you watch you know that what? game last um, night? No, um, you didn't. No, I'm under a lot of stress. You want to just change it, or you want her to type the whole thing? No, we can't. No, we can't change it. No, well, we can't. Can. Why Trust can't me. we just write no. December? No, okay. Well, All right, it has to be correct. Type it real quick, please. I'll retype that one. I'll retype that. Oh, I can type it. Can you just scan it in and just? And just no, because scan will be a PDF. Index. All right, okay, okay. Here. As long It'll as it bears the um, blue signature, it'll be all right. But you can't. You can't. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't want to scratch your stuff there. 
I didn't want to bend, fold, spindle, or mutilate. You remember that from school with the... Uh, Man. So why don't you like football? This is I, this is what I watch like now. Football? This relieves the stress. I don't like no, to watch the news anymore. I, have, I watch HGTV personally. I have, personally. <laughs> I have withdrawn myself from the societal structure. Well, okay. I, I don't. There's some and I'm being compelled for that. to participate in it. You want a piece of gum? Sure. Of this? There you go. Yes. Don't Let me make it too big a deal. You're okay. Gonna, first of all, be behind you quickly. No, hold on, hold on. First of all, yourself. I'm I'm forced to release to take off a lien from a company that first stole from my state and caused me al almost to lose my life on two different occasions. And I can't get a redress and I can't have my, my liens carried out even though I have over 100 pages of documented evidence. I have a judge that tells me I'm going to have a bench trial after I sustained a severe beating by a BSO. She violated my rights by saying you can't have a jury trial. So I held her accountable by placing the lien. And now I find myself in jail or facing jail. Well, you can't just lien that no, for that reason. No, you, yes, you can. It's an obligation of money. If you violate, hold on, hear me out. If you violate my rights, in the public record, I have a fee schedule for if you violate my rights. Per the Constitution, per... Where is that fee schedule? Okay, you can show me, but it, it doesn't, I mean, that's not what we're, <sighs> there you go. What is this? this is it's called a Treaty of Peace. Well, oh, this is that's not, yeah, that's my stuff. That's not the, um, See, the, this, no, the this rule is, that applies to a lien. This is, no, you don't, you don't. You guys don't even know the Constitution. We, we know you're interpreting it differently than it's. And I have what I'm saying. I have that right. You don't have, I that, have that right. Not when you're going to put a lien on somebody else's property. No, if you violate my rights, you commit a criminal act against me. I'm entitled to that lien. To not that claim without of lien. Not without now, a, a no, court proceeding. You're no, not. no, no. You no. could file a civil suit, and then if you you can no. get a lien. That's what a judgment in a lien. That is statutory jurisdiction. Under the common law. Well, you heard what you, the judge said about the common he law. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Al's got to get out of here. It's all right. It's you know? not all I right. Mean, it's, there's this whole line of reasoning. It's got sovereign citizen type reasoning, which, you know what? You can live by it, but you just can't infringe on somebody else's, you know, Holdings or whatever. Okay, you can do they've whatever been friend. Hold on, but how how am I supposed to enforce mine? They infringed on mine. Well, there are, you know, there are how do rules I enforce about mine? filing liens on other the, people's no, 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 properties. No, no, no. If I have an affidavit and I file that you, affidavit, that, hold on. If I you're, have it, you're really getting carried away with this stuff, which is fine. But you got to watch that it doesn't conflict with the the statutory law and different rules of court. Common law is the supreme law of the land. We're, you know, you, we're and not you're saying where is that? This. No, I'm not. I'm from, totally familiar with common We're not going to agree on this because the the rule of law does not apply as you're applying it. And I'll give you the name. And what, it's okay. What, what right does anyone have to say that my interpretation is any uh, less valid or valid than theirs. The only reason your your opinion is prevailing is because you have the Bureau of uh, Prisons and the Department of Corrections behind you and no. the BSO that don't no, no, don't know no, no. It's, squat it's, about law. There's statutory law and it's interpreted by the court. I don't always like it either, but we have to go with what what the rule is. I have How cases you overturned I'm, and things I don't think are logical, but. I just have to go with it once the, that's yeah, the rule, then we have, have to you, go with it. But have you dove into the reason why it was overturned? I've, I've, each individual thing, I mean, it's clear why it's overturned. That there's, you know, well, I'm, I don't I'm agree dealing necessarily. With, I'm but dealing that's with the way principles of law, and I'm free to do anything as long as, as, long as, as I don't infringe, infringe on anyone's or, right or, or property. Or um, become an illegal act. And what I did was not an illegal act. This still says November. All right. This still says this. November, Al. What? Oh, what? Right here? Oh, my blue pants. We took my blue pants. No, I know, but what? what oh, okay. 
I thought that's that's that was. Yeah. Okay, here's these. I feel like we're doing a real estate closing. I know. Now you know we're going to escrow your he has, property. He has. He has. This year's. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hell has draw humor. You know it's mine. <laughs> you, you you know it's mine. Come on he now. Oh, I'm going to try to steal anything. your phone. He Man. Okay. All right. Come on now. And I've got another one. I'm not trying to pull it. You also follow Lean on Galu. Get rid of that. Come on now. Let's just do our thing here. Give your best nice handwriting right under. How are your kitties doing? One. Okay. Well, you're, you're, you're saying, uh, pretending like that's not really your thing. Yeah. Come on, man. What no, are you going no, to look at? I know. He's pretending. It, that's not a, that's okay. Just sign however you sign. I don't care. You signing it. How are the kitties? They are. They're all right. They getting excited for Christmas. We all do yeah, Christmas. You don't you know, know, okay. uh -huh. well, Why not? I don't know why. Yeah, I'm Jewish. I don't do it, but I'm just you know. Why it's don't fun. you do it's it? It's fun. Well, now. I sort of do it, but anyway. He does. I mean, I got a gifts for my. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do it. He's in the yeah. right place. Yeah, he's in the right yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to do chores. So you you don't have. I mean. We all do what we. You want to make a copy of this real quickly, Kathy, for him? Yeah, let me. Because I think you're going to want a copy, right? Yeah. All right. Right, never mind. You don't have to tell me what uh, I think. Oh, do we need witnesses? You no, and you and so Kathy to sign as witnesses yeah. or not? Why don't you sign as a witness? All right. The I'll top one. Okay. I was. I had other secretaries last time, but. That's okay. I'm anyway, go ahead. Anyway. Scrounge them up, and then Kat, I'll I'll write your name. Down. Why? If you want to tell me, I don't want to be too personal. No, it's just we don't do the Santa Claus. No. Oh, okay. My yeah. children know that. Their parents and work Kathy hard for the gifts that they get. Name like, and there's no see, Santa Claus. Eddie, right. come on. <laughs> she doesn't no know that. Thing. Don't say that around Don't her. Don't say that around children. But I think that's a good point to make, to let your kids know that, you know, your parents work hard for the money. My mother told right, us. So what's, what's the time that? restraint we can uh, get this, uh, this uh, probation thing? Just hang in there. And I don't yeah, mean I this need in a, a time, condescending way. I need a time frame. But just that. behave yourself. And I don't mean that in a, like, you know, I don't want to be condescending. I've, we've had a good rapport, you, you and I. You <laughs> like and blah, 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 blah. Normally it's halfway. It's right? halfway. But you just, just don't attract attention to yourself with this stuff. You know? Because normally a guy like you for this probation simple. officer should be like an, an easy one. You're a nice guy. You're not looking for a problem. You're not a drug dealer. You know, don't He's going easy on you. No, <laughs> so yes, you, you are. He you is. Know, that's, way, now, Al, look at this. And how you're Hereby, yourself. blah, 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 blah. Eddie Banks is known to be the blank and blank, I'm respectfully. Sure. I what is it? I can't uh, exercise my religious witnesses. rights okay, witness. based on the restraints. And then my name. Of this. Attempt. Right. I don't know what goes. That's just lines. I don't know. What I don't know, know, know what those are. See, I don't know that document. I don't know that well. Okay. The so these are rich. Let me go make one copy for him of this, too. Did you have copy I'm asking him. I did those, yeah. Okay, let me do the last one. Um, did we get any copies? Okay. All right, um, so what do we have here? Is this yours or mine? No, that's yours. Okay, this is mine. This is Kathy's. This I'm asking. Do you want a copy of this for your records? No, I don't want my copy. Okay, that's the thing that you want to see. Well, what is it? Whatever action you deem appropriate. Okay, let's this is what Kathy did. Okay, what has been validated by the court? Okay, let's see. This is what Kathy did. Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay, this is what Kathy did. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is what Kathy did. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is what Kathy did. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is what Kathy did. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is what Kathy did. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is and you're telling me, stop it. <laughs> you are so bad. You're telling me that you're this, just, this doesn't apply. You don't, you no. don't know you mean it. It sounds We're like not to someone you. like him. Right here. Oops. Where do you you're get that from that website? What do you mean? Where did she get that? I'm here. Oh, that's uh, cool. Okay. Look what it says. Uh, if this was true. If this was true, I wouldn't be in this situation right now. Yeah, but it made that well, then someone could make that crap up. I mean, this people can make up stuff all day long. I'm not saying that this is, but I'm just saying. Federal statute. So he's got his federal. Now. We're state. That's federal is a whole different matter. Federal is Trump. <gasps> not all the time. Yeah. Am I right? Somebody back me up here. <laughs> all when it comes, all, when it comes, all the time. time. All the Unless, time. but if there's, if there's a conflict, the feds always. If there's a conflict, yeah. Where's the if conflict? there's a conflict. If, if it's a natural and inherent right. Well, that's true. I gotta go. Okay. Right. Eddie, thank you for Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Look, I'm campaigning extremely hard <laughs> until I get until I get um, this uh, can, can appeal mess worked out. But I cannot do this. this How probation. much probation do you have? Five years. So usually you have to do have.
Well, I'm, I'm asking for special circumstances. Well, Eddie, you already can't special tell me. You opinion. can't tell me that's not reasonable. It is not unreasonable. Just work no, with us. Not. It's not unreasonable. Just, just don't do anything that will get you violated. Believe me. I can, I, can, I can jaywalk yeah. and get violated. Yeah, but, well, not really. Not on this case. For some other matter, maybe. But not ours. Just I just don't like violations. Yeah, I Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna go to this thing and then. Yeah, I gotta go. Okay. Hey, okay, this way. Walk this way. You gotta get a police call and tell them to lay off my my face today. Please, you gotta do something. What if she did she just come? I don't want her. No, I don't want her in my house. I don't want her. My kids, my wife don't want her in the house. And if she comes by there and I'm there alone, I'm going to call the sheriff because I'm not letting no female in the house with me alone with no witness. So I'm I'm asking to be reasonable. Stay away from my home. And you won't have any problem with me. Please, man. Okay, I'll call. I'll see what I can do, but I don't know if there's anything I can do. Okay. Yeah, man, don't tell me. Everything is not just straight black and white on paper, because if it was, I wouldn't be in this mess. This mess. Come on, man. I'm being reasonable. You know how I feel about the situation. But you don't see me cussing or no, have anything yeah, you know, angry not, or no, I wouldn't cause nice. violence no, to you or nothing, anything. Nothing. I feel like you're a nice guy. I, know. I, I strongly feel, disagree I with your I know. position. I just hope that, that, that uh, I'm not proven wrong. But anyway, where, where's your car? You all the way down? Yeah, no, nah, nah, I gotta yeah. figure out some of this uh, stroke, uh, appeal stuff. Where's that office at? Where's what I got around? Where's what? Appeal. I don't know. Appeal? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Alright, anyway, I'm fine. Take care of me. Thanks. I'll, I'll you wanna make that call for me, uh, please? I will do what I can. Thank you.